My name is Steve Jackson. I'm an instructor of music at Carl Sandburg College. Uh, I teach music appreciation, uh, intro to American music and non-Western music, as well as uh, direct the jazz combo um, that we have that, that involves Sandburg students as well as a couple of Monmouth College students. Well, this is my second year um, out of just out of graduate school. I, I, uh, I you know, of course, I'm part time. I've been teaching at, at uh, Carl Sandburg College for now. F this is four semesters, including the summer. So I started last fall. I finished my bachelor's degree quite a while ago, 21 years ago. I graduated from Knox College uh, with a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Music. I elected not to go to graduate school at the time, although I, I, I possibly could have in philosophy. I uh, wound up doing, uh, in social services for uh, most of the uh, 14 years in between um, school, and then I attended graduate school at the University of Illinois starting in the, fall, or starting in the spring of 2004. I finished a master's degree uh, in musicology in 2005 in the summer. And, and then I changed majors, decided I liked jazz performance better, and got a Doctor of Musical Arts, uh, also at University of Illinois, um, in jazz performance on the, on the acoustic bass. I really enjoy working with, uh, really, students of all varieties. I've worked with, actually I've worked with kids, uh, I've worked with adults with developmental disabilities. Um, by kids I mean like from, you know, uh, preschool or even toddler level all the way up to, to high school and college level um, in Sunday school and things like that but uh, I guess what I found um, you know of course going through the process of, uh, of graduate school was very interesting and, and uh, I thought and a lot of fun actually although difficult and um, it made sense to me to, to teach college students it's kind of a toss-up between the African music unit um, Sub-Saharan African Music Unit of the non-Western music class, which I'm just teaching finally this semester, and the Jazz Unit, which is which we're just about to start now, in Intro to American Music. And what I guess in that case, it, for me, it's really about. And well, I should say that that goes along, you know, beyond along with that. There's the uh, the music that follows that, you know, in American music, which is the rock music. Uh, unit. Both, all of those are fun. You know, they're actually all interrelated. African music, obviously, you know, ha uh, is uh, a lot of the roots of uh, jazz, and of course, of of, blue, of rhythm and blues and gospel, and therefore rock and roll. Um, and uh, I think students really relate to it a lot. I seem to relate to it best because that's kind of the field that I've worked mostly in. Um, and uh, I always found, you know, the the field of non-Western music, and particularly the African music. Uh, you know, style and styles be just the just the coolest. <laughs> so I think students maybe pick up on that and they and they have fun with it too. I thought about that and I thought, well, okay, well, the, probably the thing I can put my finger most on, interestingly, is in music appreciation, which I haven't mentioned yet. Um, and um, that isn't so much maybe exactly what happens in class, but but the uh, the responses I get when I read people's um, concert reports, where they say. You know, I didn't think I was going to like this, but you know, I really do. I, I'm glad you made me come, and I think I'll come to more of these, and th that kind of thing. And I think, well, that's what this is for. <laughs> you know, they could learn all the, de you know, various details and regurgitate some of that on a test or whatever. But, but if they get an, the idea is to get an appreciation for all these kinds of music, whether it's music appreciation, American music, or non-Western, um, or you know, specifically jazz. If I'm teaching students how to play jazz, you know, I, I'm looking for people to, get, to broaden their horizons and get a get, you know, an appreciation for something that they otherwise would have just immediately immediately tossed to the side. So that I think that I have to say it's, the, it's the, on those papers that I realize that the most. I'm a big baseball aficionado. I, I'm not bad at playing it, although, uh, you know, which is to say, I, you know, when we play a pickup game, I can do okay, you know. Um, but uh, it's something that I, you know, I definitely uh, didn't have enough talent to bother to pursue more than music. When I was 17, I had to make a, de make a decision between baseball games and, and uh, uh, musical rehearsals when Prairie Players was doing the uh, 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 South Pacific and I was playing in the pit. 
So I was like, well, I think I'm a better musician than a baseball player. But I've always loved baseball. Um, I'm also a football fan and not as much, not, not so much of a basketball fan, but I followed it at times. Mostly I'm a fair weather basketball fan, like when Michael Jordan was winning with the Bulls, you know. Um, and uh, but baseball and football, I've, I've been a statistics geek. I can pretty much quote you who the batting title winners are and World Series winners and stuff like that. And I like to play it too. And and uh, you know, I've, I've umpired games like little league games and softball games and stuff like that. So I'd have to say baseball mainly, but sports in general. <laughs>